Before we get further into today's video, I'd like to give a big thank you to Smart Proxy for making this video possible. So Smart Proxy is one of the fastest growing proxy providers today. They sell high quality proxy plans with over 40 million IPs in more than 195 locations worldwide. Virtual teleportation? That's exactly what their superhero is offering. You can use these proxies for retail, including limited editions, sneaker drops, eBay, Craigslist, you name it. Market research, including scraping, ad verification, affiliate testing, SEO, travel fair, and all other social media hype. A little help does go a long way with Smart Proxy. So their mission is to make the right public data you need available to you ASAP and proxy management tools for anyone. With them, you, you level the playing field against huge data hoarding companies, competitors, and more technically able companies. Smart Proxy will give you the gadgets and all you need to do is show them off. And speaking of gadgets, Smart Proxy offers as many high functional tools such as X Browser. This tool is used for creating multiple profiles and it just disrupted the online universe. With the help of this shiny new tool, you can get unique fingerprints for each profile, use many browsers at the same time risk-free, and avoid IP bans and captures. I mean, after all, who likes filling out those captures anyways? They also offer handy proxy extensions for Chrome that will bring you the essential proxy sessions features right in your browser. Need to access and manage multiple social media accounts for your agency? Well, of course you do. Smart Proxy Extensions is the perfect proxy plugin for it. So are you ready to armor up? Start using Smart Proxy today by clicking a link in the description below. And if you use my special promo code, you will get a first 15% discount for the plan of your choice. Anyways, let's get further into today's video. The Clash Royale Royal Guards origin story all starts off in the Clash of Clans village. The story starts off with everyone's favorite skeleton, Larry. Now, Larry was having a very tough time at the Clash of Clans village where he just couldn't do anything right. He was literally the laughingstock of the village. L luckily for Larry though, one day his luck finally started to look up. The Clash Royale King was hosting a special challenge in the Clash of Clans village where the top three skeletons would get to come to the Clash Royale arena to try out and become the King's Royal Guards. All the three skeletons had to do was win a special but deadly race. Larry and the other skeletons all got super pumped up for the race and then when the time came, they all lined up at the starting line. The starting pistol then went off and they took off. Larry immediately started off in last place while two of the other skeletons took the lead. They had to quickly defuse a bomb before running over to a super high wall that they had to climb over before racing to the finish line. Larry was in dead last place when he finally got to the wall and all the other skeletons were already climbing it. Except for two skeletons that had already finished the race. This meant that there was only one spot left. Larry realized that there was no way that he was going to get over that wall, and so he decided to just give up and head home. But as he turned around, he activated an air bomb. His leg got caught in it and it carried him away. Today must have been Larry's lucky day, because the balloon carried him right over the wall and towards the finish line. Larry ended up finishing in third place somehow, and he secured his spot as one of the three royal guards that got to go over to the Clash Royale arenas. A few days later, the flying boat plane thing came to pick up the skeletons and it took them back to the Clash Royale arena. Once they arrived, they were led to the entrance of the king's castle, where some of the other royal recruits then showed them to the armory, where they outfitted these skeletons in new helmets and gave them some new weapons to use, which were just some new spears. Larry and the other two skeletons felt like skeletons on steroids, and they were ready to take on whatever tasks the king threw at them. Unfortunately for them though, the tasks that the king gave them weren't all that glamorous. The first task that they got was to stand guard by the door to the king's crown. And that was literally it. They just stood there for hours, doing nothing. After that task, they had them clean the baby dragon's teeth and tend to them. And the last task of them all was to do a boatload of dishes to, for the Clash Royale kitchen. The skeletons were all expecting a lot more than just all this manual labor, but they still obeyed as they didn't want to piss off the king, especially not on their first day. Finally, after they finished the mountain of dishes, it was time for the royal guards to prove themselves. The king's battle was about to start, and he chose his three new guards to accompany him to the arena. Unfortunately though, he didn't plan to use them in battle or anything like that, and rather they were just there to bring him cold drinks when he got thirsty. But during that battle, the king didn't have any time to take sips of his drink, as he had his hands full with the battle as he was getting destroyed by the other king. The king had just spent all of his elixir on a massive push that the other king took out with a single log. And so with that huge elixir advantage, the other king sent a big push at his lone king tower. And without any elixir to defend himself, the king prepared for his defeat. 
But as the troops were all approaching, the three skeletons stepped out from behind the king's tower and lunged towards the incoming troops. The three royal guards then fought to the bone to keep their king safe, and they were able to hold off the push just long enough for the king to bank up enough elixir to send some reinforcements. The game ended up ending not too long after that. And even though the king didn't win that battle, he was still thoroughly impressed by what those three skeletons did out there. And so after the battle, the king handed the royal guards a brand new shield as a reward for what they did to protect the king. And then he told them, you guys are going to need this in your next battle. And from that moment on, the three royal guards had become a staple in the Clash Royale king's decks. And they continued to serve and defend the king till their last bony breath. And that there is the story of how Larry and his friends became the Royal Guards. Thank you guys all so much for watching my Royal Guards origin story. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you guys drop a like on this video and subscribe and comment down below what story you guys would like to see next. I've got tons of other cool videos coming out and definitely make sure you guys stick around for the end of the video. I've got a brand new upload schedule as well as some information moving forward. So my new upload schedule is sort of still in the making, I'm still kind of figuring it out, but my goal is to publish a new video once or twice every week. It's going to be a bit more random, but normally it's going to be closer to either on a Monday, Friday, or Saturday or Sunday. Mostly going to be on those days, as those are the days I have free to actually make videos. Um, and then it's normally going to be uh, published at about 5 a 5 a.m. Pacific Standard Time or about 7, 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And if you guys haven't already heard, I am going to be posting strictly Clash of Clans and Clash Royale content on this channel. If you guys do want to see um, Brawl Stars content where I'm going to be doing some origin stories as well as some like challenge and just overall fun videos in Brawl Stars, you guys can go ahead and check out my other channel called World of Brawl Stars. Also, my last iPad giveaway was actually a decent success and so I'd be willing to do another big giveaway. Um, I'm still looking for ideas as to what I should give away. I was thinking I don't want to do an iPad again because I just did that, but instead maybe like a an iPhone or maybe a laptop would be pretty cool. Um, I'm not going to be doing the giveaway for a little bit. I might have to wait till about December just so that I can kind of save up some money to actually afford it. Um, but yeah, so I was thinking of doing a big giveaway in December. Let me know down in the comments below what you guys would like me to give away the most. Um, it, in, it's somewhere in the price range of a new phone or maybe a laptop. A laptop's a little pricey, um, but if there's enough interest in something like that, maybe I could do something along those lines. Um, other than that, I think that is pretty much all the information I have for you guys in today's video. But anyways, I hope you guys all have a fantastic rest of your day. Stay safe out there, and I will talk to you guys all in the next video. Peace out.